Welcome back to the series. We're going to be testing out top rated face masks sold on Amazon. Today we have this one. This is a N95 respirator. Let's go over the box really quick before we go to the listing. The brand, which is Harley. On the side of the box, it does come with the manufacturer date, the lot number, which is 2021-0135, along with the expiration date, which is January 2nd, 2025 and <laughs> and this box has NIOSH approved logos pretty much everywhere in each side of the box. Here is a listing for this N95 respirator. It's a 20 pack of breathable N95 respirator foldable universal fit <laughs> and it comes with the uh, approval number. The price of them right now is $25, which is roughly around $1.27 per mask. And here is the seller. This is the person that we also bought it off of. I think if you scroll down here, it also provides you with a screenshot of the NIOSH approved list, like I've showed you guys before. So it says that this is the Harley. It gives you the model and the TC approval number. So let's go ahead and open these up and see how they look. This is how they look whenever you open them up. Let's pull one out. And it does come with the N95 requirements, which are the manufacturer's or brand's name, the model number, and the TC approval along with the NIOSH stamp. So let's go ahead and open them up. And put them on. <laughs> Or put it on. Honestly, the material of the straps isn't the best. We're pulling it, we're pulling it hard, and it's it's not gonna come off. Let's try them on. So this one does have a plastic smell, but it's not it's not very bad. You're not gonna pass out because of the smell. Um now that I'm realizing it's not the most comfortable face mask, it's a little tight. So if it's tight on my face, it could be tight on people that have bigger heads. <laughs> Does that mean? The strap is a little rough on here because it touches your skin. It's not super comfortable, but it does have a great seal. Yeah. It's not the most comfortable face mask. Let's go ahead and move on to the filtration portion of this video and see if they pass the filtration test with our TSI machine. This is our TSI machine. We use it to test the particle penetration efficiency of a respirator or mask. Our testing procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first remove the band before placing it on the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then, we make sure that the respirator is completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. When interpreting the results, F stands for air flow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. P stands for penetration percentage. As shown, the respirator tested at 0.65% for particle penetration, meaning it's at 99.35% filtration efficiency. So they did pass a filtration test. My overall thoughts of this mask is they're not super comfortable like I mentioned earlier. I probably give that like a 7 out of 10. They do feel like it was irritating my face a little bit. When it comes to the fit, I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. It was very tight on my face, but it also provided very good seal. On the quality of these respirators, I'd give a 7 out of 10. I feel like they could do a lot better. The material, some of the parts were really rough around my face and the elastic wasn't the best quality. But of course, this was just my experience with this face mask. Everyone could have a different experience when it comes to the fit, the comfortability. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment down below of any mask you would like us to test out next. Also, any feedback is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys on the next video.